So now let's move into our engine load. Now we're going to need to know if our engine is going to be force induction, naturally aspirate it, and if it's force induction, how much boost do we plan on running? So for this first example, let's just assume that we're going to be a naturally aspirated engine. So we know that the engine is going to run up to approximately zero PSI or atmospheric pressure if we're at sea level, but some engines can build positive manifold pressure if they're getting the ram air effect. So we're going to have to scale and account for that just a little bit so we make sure if it does get the ram air effect, it's going to have a uh, more resolution or another breakpoint in the table to account for that. So we're going to scale our particular maximum breakpoint to 2 PSI so that we're going to make sure that if it does build something like a positive uh, a 1 PSI of manifold pressure, that we're going to have a little bit of compensation factor for fueling. So setting the table, the max value on the table here to 2, we're going to go down to the uh, minimum vacuum point, which is going to be negative 14.7 PSI or 0 kPa. And we're going to run an interpolation function across that again. We're going to average all those data points. Um, and we're going to be able to have that populate it for us. So looking at the table, we're going to see that the values in the table are going to be zero, and this is going to be a disadvantage because we don't know what to start with. Well, doing a volumetric efficiency fuel model is going to actually be fairly simple. Because we know we have approximate volumetric efficiency between any engine at our idle section and our cruising section and our wide open throttle, we can go in and put those values in to start with and have a very solid starting point. So at idle, we're going to find values between 40 to 50% volumetric efficiency. So we're going to go in and enter those values in the table here. And we're going to go into our cruising section of our table. So in vacuum uh, and higher PM level, we're going to be uh, at our cruising point. Our values are going to be between uh, anywhere from 60 to 75% volumetric efficiency. So we can populate our table with values, let's say 75. And we can go up to full throttle and naturally aspirate it. And we're going to see values between 80 to 100. Let's just split the difference and put our maximum value here at 90. We're going to use the averaging or interpolation function across the table. We're going to drag that down. We're going to build this table out and we're going to uh, stretch these values so that they're all going to kind of inter uh, nice and linearly interpolate across the table. Now, it's going to be literally that easy to have our VE table for something that we're going to be able to fire up our engine and start our tuning process on. Now, these values aren't going to be exactly what we need. These are going to be very good starting points. So we're going to be able to utilize this very broad general uh, uh, VE uh, values uh, across any engine. So whether we're going to be 